Welcome to this quick tutorial about collision theory. In this video, we will be using the SVET simulations to understand what it takes for a reaction to occur. As we will see, a successful collision requires both enough energy and the proper orientation to lead to a reaction. Let's first explore the role energy plays. Let's start by shooting molecule A into BC. They collided, but the reaction did not occur. If we look over here, we can see what is happening with the energy of the particles. The total energy line is too low to form products. Let's add some en more energy in the form of heat. Once we added heat, the particles move faster, signifying that they have more energy allowing the reaction to occur. If we cool the contents, the particles move slower and they will not react when they collide. So, we can see the role energy plays in a successful collision. In addition to energy, the orientation of the collision is also important. For each of the previous collisions, the particles were colliding end to end. Let's see if we can get the molecules to collide at a different orientation. Let's make sure that we have enough energy so that a reaction is possible. Oh look! That time they collided, and there was no reaction. For this particular reaction to occur, A has to hit B directly opposite of C. 